Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, in this session, I'm going to talk about uh, the first poem in the uh, second unit of uh, DJVC Foundation English 4. This is a Vendor of Fish. A vendor of Fish, uh, written by G.S. Sharad Chandra. Uh, G.S. Sharad Chandra is the one who wrote this poem called Vendor of Fish. Uh, before moving with the session, subscribe to the channel if you are new to my YouTube channel. Okay, this writer okay, is an internationally uh, popular writer. Uh, he wrote both, you know, poetries and fictions. Uh, and most of his works, uh, you know, touches the deep emotions of uh, Indian American immigrant. Okay, uh, was born in India, uh, but uh, he, he received, a, you know, a law degree in India. But, you know, he went to United States uh, in the year about 1960. And there he became a writer, okay. And uh, he uh, studied uh, the fine arts, uh, master of fine arts uh, from uh, lower writers workshop. And um, most of his career, uh, he taught at uh, the University of Missouri, Kansas City, uh, as a professor of creative writing and English. And um, a family of mirrors uh, was said to be is you know most famous work, and uh, this work uh, was you know, nominated for a Pulitzer Prize. Uh, this poet who traveled the world extensively throughout his life and uh, received uh, uh, international recognition for both his poetry and fiction. Uh, this poem, the Vendor of Fish, okay, it talks about uh, a fish uh, seller. Uh, fish vendor. Uh, usually, we could see that uh, the fish seller who visits uh, uh, the seashore uh, early uh, to uh, procure the fishes from the fishermen. Uh, like that, you know, uh, there was a seller, there was a vendor, you know, fish vendor uh, who that fellow was waiting at the harbor. Okay, see, that is how the poetry gets opened. So, in the first answer, okay, let me read the first answer. All night, he waits at the harbor, his eyes the color of the sea, the sea the color of trawlers. He grabs the finest wipes them, and his shawl is shawl, the color of blood. So, the first stanza which proclaims that uh, there was a, a fish vendor was waiting for the arrival of uh, fishermen from the sea to procure fishes from them uh, to purchase fish from them so that you know he can go and sell them and make money out of this okay he was waiting at the harbor and when he was waiting his eyes was you know uh, in the sea color okay that shows that you know a great expectation you know he needs to purchase the fish uh, he was you know uh, you know big expectation to uh, purchase the fishes uh, that the sea the color of trawlers the trawlers means you know almost like net which used to catch the fishes right okay there uh, he grabs the finest wipes them on his shawl and his shawl uh, the color of blood uh, so here he brings out some imaginary uh, of colors uh, uh, the fish can uh, satiate his hunger okay that is uh, the color of blood so the fish is the color of his blood okay which can feed him and that's his livelihood okay that's his livelihood that is what he means uh, through the first stanza and uh, let's see the second stanza uh, fish the color of rupees he thinks of meal he'll buy, the meal of chapatis and kurma, the fish in the smell of kurma. He packs them in the basket with the eyes, his hands, the color of fire. This poet, okay, who conveys, who proclaims in the second stanza, saying that the fish is the color of rupees. Okay, through the fish he can make money. Okay, for him, fish is the rupees. And that fellow thinks of meal he'll buy. So he gets confident that, you know, he can feed himself after selling the fish. And the meal of chapatis and and kurma which he takes that's his uh, food which he can buy after selling the fish okay fish is the smell of kurma okay means you know so fish through fish he can purchase all these things even uh, the kurma which he takes the food which he takes you know that is you know came from fish means after selling the fish he purchased that he takes he feeds himself and uh, so this fellow is in dream that you know he can buy all these things after selling this fish so he packs them in a basket with the eyes in his hands and colors of fire okay so there he he packs all the fishes 
and trying to leave the spot to, to uh, sell the fish. So uh, this line, the baskets, uh, you know, he packs them in the basket with the ice. He hands the color of fire, okay, which shows that, you know, the red color, okay, in his hand might be uh, the, the blood of the fish. Uh, though, you know, he exploits the life of the fishes, but that is the only way to get his livelihood. So uh, he takes all the fishes and moves from there. And uh, the third stanza, uh, let me read the third stanza. He leaps on the tar road faster than sweat can print his feet. The distance is the color of dreams. The fish in the basket shine. Sardust dabs their fins. He sings in praise of their color. Now this fellow, soon after packing the fish, he wanted to leave from there. He wanted to quickly leave from there. And he walks on the road, uh, the tar road, very fast. And he was sweating. And uh, the, 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 you know, his feet print can be uh, seen on the road. He was sweating in such way. But that fellow is walking very fast in order to sell the fishes which he has procured and uh, of course the distance is the color of dreams okay now he got the distance from the customers to his uh, person okay that is you know in dream that the color you know he he relates uh, the distance as a color of dreams why because he was dreaming that he will sell the fishes Okay, so fish in the basket shine and sardest shine the powders of uh, the sawmills, right? Which are there through which he walks very fast and uh, to sell those fishes. And uh, there, you know, he sings in praise of their colors. He, he sings in praise of their color. There, um, he was, you know... Uh, uh, probably selling uh, the fishes which is carried. So this line, he sings in praise of their color, uh, which proclaims that uh, the sense of his loss and helplessness and desperations. So all these things will get triumphed with his hope that uh, uh, he can uh, sell the fish and earn money with which he can take his livelihood properly. So these are the three stanza okay, through which uh, the poet wants to convey the pain and uh, the expectations and um, how he satiates his hunger. All these things have been expressed through uh, the poem. This is all about the poem called uh, Vendor Fish, the, the Vendor of Fish. Of course, uh, every vendor, every seller will have, you know, uh, their own problems, their own, you know, uh, frustration. Uh, but still, uh, they will have a hope at the end, like, you know, somehow they can take their livelihood from their work, uh, from, you know, selling their goods in such way in the same way even in this uh, fish vendor fish seller he is also having the hope that he can uh, have his livelihood uh, through selling the fish for which only he has come to the show to uh, you know purchasing for purchasing the fishes actually he, he, he came early he was waiting usually this these people will come early and used to wait uh, for the night uh, so that you know they can get the fish fresh uh, that is how this poet spoke in this poem, uh, conveyed message, the uh, situations and the status of the fish sellers, fish vendor. Okay, uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for uh, listening my lectures. Uh, with this, uh, the session gets over. Uh, do subscribe to the channel.